February 28th. Today we keep the memory of our venerable father, Basil the Confessor, companion in asceticism of St. Procopius from Decapolis. St. Basil became a monk in his youth and valiantly submitted himself to a life of great austerity under the direction of St. Procopius the Decapoloid. Thus, trained in the ascetic struggle against the devices of the evil one, he was able to engage with valor against the iconoclasts. On being arrested by the emperor's police and put to the torture, he remained unshakable in confessing the true faith. Covered in wounds, particularly on his face, he was thrown into a gloomy dungeon where he remained until the death of the tyrannical Leo the Isaurian. On being released with St. Procopius and the other confessors, he took up once again his previous life of asceticism. He brought many sinners to repentance and many heretics back to the communion of the Church, both by his word and by his exemplary virtues. Having thus finished his course with glory, he departed joyfully to the kingdom of heaven. Blessed is our God always, now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Thee, O God, glory to Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thou didst prove to be a citizen of the desert, an angel in the flesh. And a wonder worker obeys the Lord God bearing Father. By fasting, vigil, and prayer, thou didst obtain heavenly gifts, and thou healest the sick and the souls of them that have recourse to thee with faith. Glory to him that has given thee strength, glory to him that has crowned thee. Glory to him that worketh healings for all through thee. When Israel of old traversed the gulf of the Red Sea dry shod, they turned back the might of Amalek in the wilderness by the hands of Moses, which formed the figure of the cross. O Holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. Having thy foot set upon the rock of the faith, O Father Basil, thou didst not fear the violence of temptations, but didst remain unshakable as a champion of virtue, as a namesake of the kingdom. Holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. The grace of the old Holy Spirit strengthen thee, giving thee power to endure showers of painful stripes, 
and it showed the force of Victor over the vain minded Tyra. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In Procopius, thou founds for thyself a prudent fellow contender and soldier that ever advance in the virtues of all blessed Father, and with him thou didst joyfully finish the martyrdom of thy steadfast contest. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I bring thee forward as my protectress, as the mediatress of my salvation, and the indestructible rampart of my life, O all him Theotokos, who gave birth to God, the benefactor of all creation. Thy church doth rejoice in thee, O Christ our God, as she doth cry out in joy, Thou art my soul's steadfastness, my strength and my refuge art Thou, O Lord. O Holy Father, base, O pray to God for us. Diligently directing thy heart unto God, O righteous Basil, Thou hast eminent in ascetic grace and in confession. Holy Father, base, O pray to God for us. Thou tookst up the weaponry and the whole armor of the cross, O Father, and didst defeat both an awaiting dragon and Leo, that visible lawyer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As you had piously preserved that which is after the image of the soul, O righteous fathers, you contest in worshipping the immaculate image of Christ. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through thee, our nature, which before was a partaker of the curse and corruption, is become blessed and has partaken of incorruption, O Immaculate Lady. Longing in thy piety after the poverty of Christ, thou forsookest fleeting wealth and glory that doth not endure, and having taken the Lord's cross upon thy shoulders, with joy thou didst complete the straight and narrow path, Quelling fleshly lust by means of abstinence and every hardship, and thou camest to the divine bread, the paradise. O righteous Father, thou God proclaimer, wise and venerable Basil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Joseph was amazed to see that which transcended nature's bounds, for without seed thou, O maid, didst both conceive and bear a child, and he remembered the blossoming rod of Aaron, the dew upon the fleece and the unburning bush, which was not consumed, though it was all aflame. Thus thy protector and betrothed cried, as he bore witness before the priests. A virgin beareth, and after childbirth still remaineth a virgin. When the church beheld thee, the Son of Righteousness, lifted up upon a cross, she stood still in her course, crying as was meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O Holy Father, base, O pray to God for us. How comely was thine endurance, O righteous and all blessed Basil, which exhibited in old age the steadfastness of youth, whereby thou didst cry, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Holy Father, base, O pray to God for us. Joined unto thy master by love and girded with his succor, thou felt no pain in thy flesh, but crying out, thou didst chant, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As the namesake of the heavenly kingdom, thou wentst the way that leads thither, finding in Procopius a kindred spirit, as he cried, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Without knowing what lock thou didst conceive, O virgin, and after giving birth thou wast a virgin still. Wherefore, O lady, with voices never silent, and faith undoubting, 
we cry to thee, rejoice. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from dark ignorance them that praise thee with faith. O holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. Thou fought illustrious Leo righteous Basil, setting a not Leo screw arrogance, and his injudicious judgment. Holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. Upon finding the divinely crowned Procopius done equal in travails for the furtherance of diverse virtues, thou didst finish the course of thy contest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now thou clearly beholdst Christ, whom thou didst long for, whose reflections thou hast seen in spirit from afar, O all-blessed and most sacred Basil, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Thee do we bring forward as an indestructible weapon against enemies. Thee do we possess as the anchor and hope of our salvation, O Bride of God. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus cries the Church unto thee, for by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demons' gore. O holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. Seized with strong desire for the kingdom on high, O God-bearer, thou didst courageously slight the slight understanding of the king and his doctrines and decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Though naked of such things as are upon the earth, thou fought with prudence for being clothed with divine power, Thou wast crowned in victory when thou overcamest the opposition of the godless tyrant. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Behold, fulfilled now are the preachings of the prophets, for thou, the Virgin, hast given birth to him who was anciently preached by the prophets and fulfilled their prophecies in the grace of the Spirit. Thou tookest thyself away from worldly turbulence, since thou hast received God's revelation from on high, and for living righteously as a monk thou didst receive might from grace to heal ills and work miracles. O all blessed Basil, wise and sacred thing, Aflame with the love of piety rather than with fire, the Abrahamite children in the Persian furnace cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. And thou hast been cultivated and cleansed through asceticism, and hast shown manfully in contest, O Father. Christ received thee, crying, Blessed are thou, my God and my Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Made strong with divine power, O Father, thou didst convict as madmen all that rejected the august depiction of Christ. And thou didst cry, Blessed are thou, my God and my Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All we, the faithful hymn thee, the pure, as the Theotokos and Queen of all creation, and we shout to thee, Rejoice, blessed are thou among women, O all blameless lady. When Daniel stretched out his hands in the den, he shut the gaping mouths of the lions, and the children, those lovers of piety, who were girt about with virtue, quenched the might of fire as they cried, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. Unto Christ, thou didst offer thy body and mind as a whole burnt offering, as a whole oblation burnt in the fire of thy conscience, and in the flame of the torches, O God-bearer. And thou dost shout, O all you works, praise you the Lord. Holy Father Basil, pray to God for Thou us. Thou didst pursue thine enemies, O righteous Father Basil, and when thou wast pursued, thou didst seize and trample down their high-minded pride, 
beholding them destroyed that had inflicted stripes upon thee, while thou didst shout, O all your works, praise you, the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Unto us, thy disciples, O all blessed Basil, thou hast shown thyself to be masterful and dexterous, for unto thy former asceticism thou didst most courageously add contest, having thy disciple Procopius as a fellow athlete that cried out, O all you works, bless you the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We name thee the light, giving gate of the heavens, O all pure one, through which has passed God, who, being bodiless for time as God, and consubstantial with the Father, has assumed a body, unto him we cry, O all your works, bless you, the Lord. When Christ, the chief cornerstone not cut by the hand of man, was cut from thee, the unhewn mountain, O virgin, he joined together the separated natures. Wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos, O Holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. Having now passed beyond all that is perceptible, O Father, thou hast been translated unto the Master with longing and joy, reaping the riches of thy struggles, the delight of the angels, and the unending joy of paradise. Holy Father Basil, pray to God for us. As thou delights with thy disciple and fellow contender in the hope of the blessed, O prize winner, and does exalt with him forever, look you upon us who celebrate your festival. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since you have been translated from earth unto the celestial portion of crown bearers, where the assemblies of the saints are, and the divine armies of angels, preserve by thy intercessions the company of your disciples. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Sunder the cause of the failings of us who sing thy praise, O Mother of God. Still the ragings of temptation smite the turbulence of sin and quell the sudden storm of dangers, O Virgin Mother. Thou didst prove to be a citizen of the desert, an angel in the flesh, and a wonder-worker, O Basil, our God-bearing Father. By fasting, vigil, and prayer, thou didst obtain heavenly gifts, and thou healest the sick and the souls of them that have recourse to thee with faith. Glory to him that has given thee strength, glory to him that has crowned thee, glory to him that worketh healings for all through thee. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Sisoes, the great brand and the navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Moluag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. At the prayers of our righteous father Basil, the confessor, fellow ascetic of St. Procopius of Decapolis, with the prayers of the holy Hieromater, Proterius, Archbishop of Alexandria, with the prayers of the holy martyred Bishop Nestor of Pamphylia, who was crucified, with the prayers of the holy women Kira and Marana of Syria, with the prayers of the holy six martyrs of Egypt, 
who are perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the holy apostles Nymphas and Eubulus reposed in peace. With the prayers of our righteous father Barsus, bishop of Damascus. With the prayers of the holy martyr Abersius, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the holy new martyr Sirana, the most chaste, who was perfected in martyrdom by tortures in Thessalonica in 1751. With the prayers of our righteous father Romanus, abbot of the Jura Mountains in Gaul. With the prayers of our righteous father Nicholas, the fool for Christ's sake of Pskov. With the prayers of St. Cillian of Bango, St. Ermina, St. Libio, St. Maydoc, and St. Oswald of Worcester, and those with them whose memory we also keep this day. And the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. And the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.